hi friends uh, welcome to all in this video we are going to see how to build a simple network before that friends if you are visiting my channel first time uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel uh, so that uh, newly uploading video information uh, will come to your gmail uh, in this uh, packet tracer uh, for this uh, simple uh, network i am going to use a router a switch and a number of PCs here I am going to use the router uh, 2911 and our switch 2960 and I am going to use uh, the entry devices here we can see the PC I am going to use this PC I am going to use three PCs now we will connect it uh, using straight through cable uh, from a router a gigabit a third to zero slash zero to gigabit a third to zero slash one and we are going to connect uh, these entity devices to switch yes uh, so here we have only one network uh, I wanted to mark this one network okay I'll give a color here yes okay now I am going to uh, use the network address uh, 192.168 dot one dot zero slash twenty four class C I am going to use here and I am going to give IP address for the entity devices uh, this is PC four I am going to give uh, ten and uh, the uh, PC five I am going to give uh, eleven and uh, for the PC six I am going to give and here is our uh, uh, interface of uh, uh, router for this uh, interface I am going to give the IP address the first usable IP address uh, that is 1.1 .1. and uh, now we will assign uh, this IP address uh, first of all we will assign to uh, entity devices we will come to PC4 uh, here we have to give the IP address the plant IP address is 192.168.1.10 we will assign this address coming to uh, desktop we have to go to IP configuration here we are going to set uh, static IP address and we can see the DHCP also so here we are going to give manually uh, 192.168.1.10 uh, 10 and here the default subnet to mask uh, we given uh, slash 24 I'm not specifying this default gateway we will uh, set it later now we will move to uh, next to PC desktop IP configuration and we will set the IP address 192.168.1.11 yeah 1.11 and to default gateway we will uh, set a letter and to the last PC PC6 we are going to set the IP address 192.168.1.12 now we set IP address for uh, these three uh, these three entity devices now you can see these uh, three PCs uh, that is PC4 PC5 and PC6 are in the uh, same network uh, so no need to use uh, the default gateway uh, suppose the uh, signal is uh, going out then we have to use uh, this uh, if uh, the system wants to communicate with other network then uh, uh, they have to use uh, the default gateway otherwise uh, this is a local uh, network uh, these pieces will be communicating each other uh, we will verify that I am going to send a message from PC4 to PC5 we can see it is successful so no need of a default gateway I'm going to send a message from PC 6 to PC 5 yes it's successful 
now i am going to set an uh, ip address for this uh, router interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 we will come to cli yes we will do the configuration manually uh, here we are not going to do the basic configurations uh, this basic configurations you can uh, uh, see on another video here we are going to set uh, the interface ip address we are going to enable configure terminal and we are going to that particular interface interface uh, gigabit ethernet to zero slash zero and we are going to set the ip address 192.168.1.1 and now we have to set this subnet mask so this is a default subnet mask of a C class C that is 255.255.255.0 yes and we have to uh, uh, bring this interface up uh, using the command no shutdown Yes, we received a message that this gigabit third zero slash zero changed state to up also the line protocol to. Here you can see uh, the router interface is up and we can see the uh, green color here. Uh, now we will set this uh, uh, IP address as the default gateway uh, for these entity devices. Here is 192.168.1.1 so this is the default gateway I'm going to set for the next two PC yes and the third PC yes so uh, now these uh, uh, end devices can communicate with other networks uh, if available now we will uh, verify uh, the connectivity from this entity device uh, to this uh, router uh, I am going to send a packet from this PC4 to a router here we can see it's successful and uh, from PC5 to router successful and finally from PC6 to router it's successful friends in this video we have seen how to configure a simple network uh, using a, a single uh, router if you like my videos give a thumb also if you have any doubt uh, you can comment below thank you